Hello, and welcome to another episode of Did You Know? So today, we'll be looking at how to monitor blood transfusion for a patient. Now, at your nursing station, you type in the patient's number in the search engine provided. As soon as the name pops up, you click on the patient's name. Next to the patient's name is an AM tab. You click on that tab to get to the next interface. Now on the next interface, you scroll all the way down and locate a heading blood bank details. Over here, under the view tab, there's a blue icon. You click on that. Next interface is where your actual monitoring is going to be done. Now you scroll all the way down to get to the blood product transfusion request, where you click on blood transfusion monitoring. Upon doing that, transfusion ID and blood units populates automatically per request. What we'll look at next is to change our time to suit properly our transfusion start and end time. So we adjust the time started. So let's say in this scenario, we started at one o'clock, so we adjust our time to one. Next is to adjust the completion time also. Say we finished after 30 minutes, so we adjust to 1.30. Upon completing your time stamps, you then look out for the field was the entire unit transfused uneventfully. You drop the box and choose the appropriate response, either yes or no. If you choose yes, you then go ahead to the additional remark field where you add your remarks if you have any and click submit. If you choose no, you go to the next field to select your discontinuation reason from the drop down. In that list of options, if you choose order, then you will give the description of that other. But if you should select patient reacted to transfusion, you then click on the blood transfusion adverse reaction form A tab and fill out the form. So now in this scenario, let's say blood transfusion was done successfully. So we choose yes from the options and fill out additional remarks. Say the blood transfusion was successful and click on the blue button with submit. This finalizes the blood transfusion monitoring process for a patient at the ward. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Click on the notification bell to always get new videos.